Hey guys, on my way to emergency room today to be there with Virginia when I saw this wicked brand new street car. It's about time we have something modern and cool in Toronto. I am Elena Delgado at Real XL Epilepsy Portal and this is yet another day of our story of Virginia's life with epilepsy. Many people have no clue how frequent seizures affect our lives. So here I am to show you what is a very small part of it. On my way to the hospital, Virginia has been having a pain in her lower back since yesterday, or well, extreme pain. I couldn't help her because I felt bad and I had nausea. the evening, I was actually sleeping, kind of passed out in the evening on my bed, and then I had nausea for the rest of the evening and the night, so I couldn't give her a massage, and then I got up. already gone. I received a phone call from someone I didn't know the phone number. I usually don't pick up on my number but this person called second time so I figured Virginia wasn't there. I saw a message from her so I answered the phone call and uh, this was a lady who called me to let me know that they already called the ambulance and Virginia fell down outside and that the ambulance is already on the way. By the time I got to the front of the building, it's a very long building, uh, the ambulance was already there, uh, actually on the, almost on the way to the hospital. So I got out just in time to see her. What's going on here? Why are all of these people jumping? Okay. So I'm on my way to Toronto Western. So far so good, we haven't had any bad experiences there. Uh, except for the bad reaction to new epileptic medication that they gave her when she was staying at the hospital. And that was a while ago. So, other than that, all we had is good experiences at the hospital, so I'm actually going with the mindset of having enough tests done today to find out what that problem is and to address the problem, not just to send her home with prescription for painkillers or whatever I'll just take painkillers and go home. I'm not taking that answer today for an answer. I'm going to ask them to dig in and find out what the problem is. This is not the first time, not the second, not even the third time. It's been going on and today she actually fell down. So on 
my way to the hospital, I know Virginia's gonna ask me for food. And then I'm gonna have to stand in the hospital line for an hour because they have they have Tim Hortons there, so everybody goes over there to get the food at Tim Hortons. It's a huge hospital and there's like half an hour lineup over there all the time. So no, I'm not gonna put up with that. I got a couple of muffins and an apple on my way from Raba. And she's gonna have to... Oh, so I don't think I finished the story. Sorry, I was speaking. The story is this. But this morning when she had to cough, she wasn't even morning, it was like almost Monday, sometimes after 11. Leaving, leaving me a, a text message, not even waking me up letting me know. Leaving me a text message that she's going to the hospital, that she didn't take the dogs out. Somebody caught her, uh, that she wasn't caught somewhere downtown. With who knows? Who knows who by her side? Okay. This was church people outside where we were. They, they took care of her. I am gonna try. Yeah, because this will be no pretty awesome. And I hope this one doesn't have that four turn or whatever parking. I this should be familiar. Yeah, so this hospital is huge, very small parking. And so I'm gonna have to find the parking on the street. So parking is Monday to Friday, 9 to 4 p.m. Look at this, where are the, all these people supposed to be between 4 and 6 p.m. if there's no parking here? And obviously I know this street and Ondandas. I'm pretty sure Ondandas is going to be the same thing, 4 to 6 is no parking on the side. What about on the other side? The same thing. Where are, like, okay, 50 cars on one side. Where are 100 cars supposed to park between 4 and 6? That's a two hour window. Are they supposed to be circling around? It's 
not funny. At all. This is the half an hour lineup I was talking about for Tim Hortons. And I'm going to emergency to see Virginia right now. That's emergency. Oh, still have this. This has got to be the quietest emergency ever. Look at this. Okay. Wow. While you enjoyed time lapse, I'll finish my visit to the hospital story. When I got to Virginia to see her in the emergency room, she told me that she was already going home. She also told me that they only did the blood work and the physical examination. Out of the countless of visits over the years, this one was one of the shortest and the weirdest ones. And this was one of many truly unnecessary visits. In the past, most of her emergency visits lasted for several hours, and some of them even resulted in being admitted to the hospital. Or even worse, going home without answers or positive resolution. If you have epilepsy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Feeling nauseous with a huge headache and a body pain, putting up with annoying noises, smells and bright lights, when you could comfortably be resting in your own bed. If you're a family member of the person with epilepsy, Stay strong, positive, and supportive for the person who is actually lying in that hospital bed. Make sure you get plenty of rest after you and your loved one get home. Especially if you've done so many activities throughout the day. It's way past your bedtime. And now you have to stay in the hospital for who knows how long many hours. Every part of your life counts. The topics for our videos just choose themselves as the life unfolds. And as we're done for today, it's time for the tip of the day. Avoid unnecessary hospital visits. Even if you already called the ambulance and paramedics showed up at your door, you can still send them off. Choose not to spend your time, money and energy if you know you're okay. And at the same time, if you had injuries, make sure you get properly examined. Lots of love to you guys, I wanted to mention that if you're watching our videos on a regular basis, make sure you subscribe, share them for our epilepsy awareness and to help the growth of our channel.